What's up, guys? Welcome back to the podcast. This is a very special Halloween edition in which I've um, completely lost my manhood because I'm wearing a giraffe onesie. Um, so if you're watching on YouTube, you can probably tell. Um, and it's because she made me wear it. Because... No, I'm kidding. I actually wanted to wear it. It was actually, this is all my, this was my idea. These are actually my onesies. Yeah. Well, she's dressed as Sriracha. I like am. Like the sauce. The sauce. <laughs> as opposed to, there's nothing else. It's just the sauce. <laughs> I'm dressed as Sriracha um, because I saw this. I was actually going to Target to get that one. Then I saw this one. This one, that one's better. This one, this one is a dude's one. It has a zipper on the bottom. Mm-hmm. So that you can take the wiener out and take a pee if you wanted to. Yeah, I, I uh, just I pee through it as well. <laughs> How do you do that? Uh, <laughs> I don't even want to know the logistics behind that. You don't want me to tell you? Nope. I I actually think I'm I'm good to just be oh, blissfully to blissfully ignorant to that. No, nope, don't want to picture that. I'm good. <laughs> All right. I can show you later if you want. Nope. I'm good. It we'll involves do, we'll a straw. Show, show me. Ew. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God. Just, I wasn't even going to say that. <coughs> that's funny. I'm just kidding. Oh, that's Good. horrendous. Uh, happy Halloween to you and yours. Um, I hope that it, it's going great for you. Um, well, I guess it's not technically Halloween for you guys. So I hope you had a great Halloween. I hope that uh, you went out trick or treating. Happy you know, November. Happy what? Oh yeah, happy November to you. My birth month. It's coming up. The big two seven. Yay! What are we gonna do for my birthday? It's a surprise. Oh yeah, you got it. <laughs> you already got it planned. Yeah. What do you got? We're having a big dinner the next day. <laughs> The next day? What do you mean the next day? It's Thanksgiving. Oh, it's Thanksgiving. (laughs) Yeah, my birthday sucks. No, it's going to be good, actually. I have a lot of things in mind. Like what? I'm not going to tell you. It's for your birthday. I'm sure you have a lot of things planned. Do Do you? Yeah, well, at least I remember your birthday. (laughs) Fuck. Called out. Cody asked me what my birthday was today as he was filling something out, and then five minutes later had to put my birthday in again and forgot it again. No, no, no. Okay, it's one of those moments where, you know, you're sitting there and someone's watching what you're putting in the screen. And I came because I was booking her a flight and it came to it was like put in her name. So luckily, I remember that. And then came to no, you put in your sister's name. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, he didn't even remember. That was just a little fuck up. That was more like a uh, kind of spaced out. Right. Okay. And then came to the birthday and I'm like, oh, fuck, if I forget this, then I'm fucked. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. I'm never going to have sex ever again. <laughs> and then, and then, and then that started, you know what I mean? It's just snowballed. That snowballed it's a snowball you? of anxiety in my brain. And I'm like, now I can't remember her birthday. And I've, you I've said gone, J- January. I said, January. <laughs> <laughs> and her birthday just fucking happened. I'm sorry. It's fine. Well, this is my punishment now that I'm wearing a giraffe onesie. You for want my own to po- wear it. My own podcast. No, I didn't want to wear this. He thinks he looks good in it. I even didn't. Even though he's wearing jeans underneath it. Nope, didn't think. Because you got to wear pants under a onesie. You can't just go onesie. I'm going onesie. What happens if I have an important business meeting and I have to, like right away, and I have to strip down? Like what happens if some important investor was like, hey, I want a full body FaceTime right now. <laughs> Be <And> like, okay, <laughs> happy Halloween. <laughs> Surprise. Commit, commit to it. I'm committed. I was walking down your street in this bad boy. Were you really? To put the money in the meter. Oh. Um. Well, oh, I had a. What was I going to say? Oh yeah. Um. Are we going to go trick or treating? I actually want to. Here's a funny joke. Do you think in Australia, trick or treating is the kids giving candy back to the adults as they as they walk around? <laughs> you know how like toilets flush the other way. I didn't know. That. <laughs> No, they don't. That's a that's a joke. I don't get it. Oh my god! It's not funny. I knew that one would fucking not a fall funny flat. Joke. I knew it would fall <laughs> flat. What about this? You know, as a kid, I always, you know, you always loved the houses that gave out full bags of meth. <laughs> <laughs> but there we go. Woo! Because I wasn't expecting it. Woo! <laughs> Love a good meth joke. Chalk one up to me, baby. One good <laughs> Halloween joke that I've written so far this morning. And actually, I had that one tweet. I said, um, place, there, was a, there was a trending hashtag. It said, <laughs> places where pumpkins don't belong. And I said, right directly in, in my dick hole. Yeah, you did. Which, not funny. It was silly. 
It's just silly. <laughs> so not funny, I guess. That sucks. I was so high and now I mean it's true, I guess. Down. You know what? I'm gonna think about another Halloween joke. It's a joke. true tweet. Well, it is true. <laughs> That's pretty much the last place you'd ever want a pumpkin. It is right right Ooh. just inside your dick hole. Mm-hmm. Right? That yeah. just wouldn't be good. No. Just it's like the str- I mean, I could have <laughs> I mean, you know what it's like with a straw. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Pumpkin. pumpkin. Not that you, not that you have a dick, I'm just saying. Right. In the In Let's the, move on, shall okay. we? Okay. Um, um, just think about your tweets next time. We we had a good Halloween for the first time. We did in my entire life. Halloween um, Halloween usually to me is just is just it's always bad. It never works out. We never actually have good plans. We're always like it's always just it's two hours of us drinking in costumes and people saying what's the plan every ten minutes, thinking that saying that is going to magically someone's going to just create like a plan's going to appear out of thin air. That's what it is. And this time, Friday was that. Def- 100% that. Friday, we all got in our costumes and we were all dressed as referees, except for you. You were some sort of abominable snow woman. I was just wearing a robe and slippers. But it was like a big... It was like a furry robe. A big furry robe. It's just an excuse to wear pajamas, I believe, Halloween is. Yeah, you were comfy as fuck. I was. But you were wearing pants under there. I was wearing shorts. So you can't hate on me. I'm wearing shorts under a robe. I'm not wearing shorts under shorts. <laughs> <laughs> You're wearing jeans under pants. You don't need jeans. You don't wear that. shorts under your shorts. No, I wear shorts. It's like, I did. You know I have before. Have you? Yeah. Why? Like, um, like in high school mm-hmm. when I'd go to practice, mm-hmm. we would have to wear like little shorts under our shorts. So practice that, for what? Um, oh, cheer. <laughs> yeah. She's a cheerleader. Dating a cheerleader. Ew, I, was I like, wouldn't. I mean, I wouldn't make a big deal. I just wouldn't saying, either. Just saying. I would say it was more like a just dance saying, guys, team. Dating a cheerleader. So okay. Well, don't worry about. It. You're jealous. It's all. It's all good. Totally <laughs> understand. Jealous. Just you know, kind of made it over here. Um, I'm dating a girl that wears sriracha onesies <laughs> on the street. <laughs> wears shorts under her shorts. And who was a cheerleader? I'm a catch. You know, like Tobias from. Um, Arrested Development, how he wears jean shorts in the shower? No. What? you never seen Arrested Development? I have. I've seen it before. Just I haven't seen that. Too busy watching This Is Us. <laughs> Such a good show, guys. This Is Us. Really, okay. really good. Cody Love watched that show. one episode and there were a little bit too many feelings in it for him. So he decided <laughs> that he didn't like it. I don't like feeling feelings. You know? No, I don't. I don't like feeling things. No, I'm kidding. I do. That's a big trend, though, with, in, on the internet is people um, pretending to be numb because they think it's cool. Totally. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Actually? Or yes. are you just saying 100%. that? 100%. Okay. I hate that. I really do. I... It's okay to just... It's okay to feel things. You don't have to be numb. Yeah. You don't have to do Xanax and just fucking just be a robot. You don't have to do that. You can feel things. You can be sad. You can be happy. You okay? I'm just a little bit sad. <laughs> <laughs> Right. I took a bunch of Xanax right before we started <laughs> this podcast. <laughs> um, so we had a good Halloween. We did. We um, This was the first Friday night was like we, it was everyone, what's the plan? Dude, what's the plan? What's the plan? I don't know. I'll try and figure out. You got a plan? No, you got a plan? Not yet, but I'm texting And then everyone people. Like, disagreed on the plan. And then it, someone finally was like, all right, let's go to this bar. And everyone was like, no, that sucks. Let's go to this bar. And so we like tried to go to this house party. It didn't work out. Like last year, it was this all weekend. It was just us trying to figure out what the, we had a costume. We had a great costume. We were dominoes. Right. And so we were like planning on falling into each other wherever we went. Nice. Every year we have these great ideas for like a group costume and yeah. we have nowhere to fucking go to do the funny thing. But on Saturday, we had somewhere to go. On Saturday, we did. But I'm saying last year, it was just, we ended up at this like really weird like house party where people were like, oh my God, it was so weird. It was so weird. It was our friend's friend's party or something. It was like all the way out in uh, Echo Park. Mm -hmm. And we Ubered all the way out there. And we get to this house and the person's, it was the person's parents' house and the parents were there. And it was all like 26 year olds and everyone was like sort of trying to get fucked up. But the parents like clearly were not into it. It was so weird. That's uncomfortable. And that's where we started the night. We we're like, well, this is a this is just a wash. Like we Ubered fifty minutes out to Echo Park to so party what did with you these do? two. Party with these people's parents. So then we left. We went to another party, and it was just like, it's just like weird. 
when you don't know anyone yeah. and it's just like yeah, it is weird it's people doing like math and you're just which is you know that's that's a positive right i was gonna say that sounds like a good yeah but it's like you don't want to do meth with a zombie true that you don't know I, that's why i don't like halloween yeah because what doing meth with zombies just because of the zombies because you don't like zombies no just because i don't like people dressed up as things what do you mean I don't like people like walking around in masks. Why not? It's just creepy. Yeah. You don't know what they're, you don't know who they are. I <laughs> don't know what they're up to. Yeah. I don't like people walking around in stretch onesies. You don't know what they're, you don't know if they're wearing pants under there. You can shorts under shorts. <laughs> Honestly, don't. You said you liked it. No, I do like it. I think it's cool. Actually, I'm actually kind of jealous of your onesie. I said I'd wear the giraffe. If- Maybe we can switch halfway through the podcast and we'll take a little break. Okay, well, switch d- one's easy to Snickers bar here. What I we got? do have to put more money in my meter, so that can be our... <laughs> There's only two Whoppers inside this one. I hate Whoppers. Why do you hate Whoppers? Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm being so negative. I love you're Halloween. You're me. You're me. You're me. <laughs> Aw. I'm taking the role of Cody today. Um, I'm sorry about my really swollen eye. I don't know if you can see it here. My eye's all fucked up. I've been... Um, eating a little bit too much ass recently <laughs> and you know what happens i'm kidding i have a sty i think it's a joke it really is know. a sty or it could turn into a chalazian i don't know what that is but my eyes all fucked up and it's not very fun and um what were you saying halloween okay so this so this weekend we actually had friday was kind of the same thing we dressed up as referees we had this whole great idea where we we're going to give people red cards in the bar and give people yellow cards and it was all really funny. We had whistles. And so we went to a bar on Friday. And it just um, it just turned into om- us almost getting kicked out of the bar for, for whistling. Apparently, people really don't like whistles. <laughs> they really don't like them. That was the whole theme of the weekend. And so Friday, we're in this like kick-ass shitty bar. And um, uh, the bouncer comes up and he's like, hey, guys, love the costumes, but you know, absolutely stop whistling. That Definitely don't do that. That's going to get you kicked out. We're like, okay, yeah, sorry. Yeah, like only half the group of us heard him say that the other half was like at the bar <laughs> so when they like came back with the drinks they were like meep, meep, just so obnoxious and we were it was, like it was adam stop. yeah it was fucking adam but he was like going taco, in on it taco tuesday killer adam he's like <laughs> like this is like right like after the bar all the drinks like trying to dance with them and he's like what's up guys just got a shitload of drinks for us all <laughs> right after the bouncer comes up to us and goes hey guys stop whistling i'm like cool man sorry um you know love the bar great bar love what you're doing with the bouncer stuff really big fan Good work. sorry we're gonna totally stop whistling and then he like walks away and he's like five feet away and summer just meanders over with a bunch of drinks he's yeah. like tweet tweet what's like- up drink alert guys <laughs> tweet but it's like that's a normally a time and everyone would be like yeah fuck yeah but like of course the one time it's adam walking over with all the drinks we're like can you fucking stop we're tr- we're trying <laughs> We get in trouble. Can you shut the fuck up? Shh, dude. He's like, God damn it. What What? What did I do wrong? I got a bunch of drinks. One time dude, I... Fuck you, Adam. We just Fucking got in trouble. Bought us a bunch of drinks. So then. Thanks for the drinks, Adam. Yeah, thanks, Adam, if you're watching this. Um, um, and then. Had it, and then we left. We went home because I was really tired. He was tired. I was tired. And. Um, so we left. They went to another party, which apparently they had a little bit of fun at. So yeah. then, whatever. That's Friday. Mediocre. At mediocre. Best. But kind of fun, sort of. A little bit fun after. <clears throat> and so we then sat. Oh, someone outside. Um, probably the fucking leaf blower Sounds guy. Like Marcus. I know it does. Maybe he came home to take a shit. I hope it's Marcus. If I lived close to work, I would come home to take shits. I you, think. you live. You work from home. <laughs> and well, I know, but it, so I, that's what I'm saying. You but walk if I, to Colby's dish. <laughs> <laughs> I know their code, actually. I could probably get you in there. You do? Yeah. It's, um, it's, I'm not going to say it. Don't say it, but tell me later. Um, so then Saturday, we actually had plans and we had a really good time. Mm-hmm. We did. It worked out. Everything worked out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, the mm-hmm. first time that's ever happened. It it's was a, just nice to enjoy the day knowing. Sorry. Ow. Sorry. Just kidding. Knowing that we had plans. Like, we didn't have to worry about anything. We just got to hang out. But I feel like I'm just like, I'm never that person that's like always, I'm never that person that's like on the list for things. But you were. Yeah. 
for the for once, but I, I just was stressing out because it's like cheers, thanks. <laughs> you wanna bump mics? Thanks. Cheers. Oh, you wanna do it again? <laughs> Alright, this is getting a little saucy. A little sriracha Sorry, saucy. Sorry guys, didn't mean for you to see that. Um what was Ow. I just like I'm never like I'm never like guaranteed on the you know what I mean? I'm just like not that Hollywood. So I'm never, it's never like, oh, Cody's definitely on the list for that party. He can bring whoever he wants. It's always like right. kind of a struggle to, mm-hmm. to do that. But you did it. You, you know? You persevered. But I'm saying like all Saturday I was stressing. It's like, what if someone's name was not on there? And yeah, I was a little worried about and all that, that too. Shit. And we get there and everything worked out. Because we had to give a list of names of all the people who were going. Yeah. And um, it wasn't just like Cody plus friends. It was like these exact people yeah. needed to have their names. Um, because, you know, that's how it works. You're going to exclusive Hollywood parties. You know, a lot of a uh, lot of movers and shakers at that party. A lot of, True. lot of faces. No, but actually, it was cool. The people from the American Vandal was there. Mm-hmm. And that's yeah. like my favorite show I've watched in a long time. So yeah, no, to, it was good. Got to uh, you know um, rub shoulders with those folks. <laughs> I sound like such a dad. Why am I saying it like? <laughs> a lot of movers and shakers got to rub <laughs> shoulders with a lot of important I don't know, people. But I, because I feel like you already knew all of them. I did, but it was cool <laughs> to like see them and just like also like I don't know. I haven't seen them since the show came out. Right, right. Um, uh, and it was just a good time. The we had kid a, was small. We had a good time. The the Peter kid. The report, like yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He was small. He was a he was a small little. I didn't brother. meet him though. Neither did I. Mm. Shout huh. out to you though. Shout out if Peter. you're watching this. Thank you. We had a good time. Saturday was good. It was fun. Yeah, it was um, fun. She was dressed as a hot Cheeto. I did. I didn't know what to be. I never liked to. She was a normal Cheeto. I'm just saying she looked hot. Thanks. What's this, What's the theme with dressing up like spicy things? It makes me feel hotter. Mm. You don't need the costume for that. Come here. Oh, sorry. You want to bump bikes again? There we go. Um. Anyway, yeah. I don't like to... I don't like to plan out what I'm going to be. I just kind of go with what the first thing on my mind is. Mm -hmm. And everyone's like, you should have been a cheese it. Oh, be a cheese it. You should have been a cheese it. No, I'm not going to be a cheese it. Why not? Why do you feel so passionately about this? (laughs) You really got pissed there. I did. You know, you know what, you know what would make me be a cheese it? Receiving them. (laughs) Where do you, where do you get off? (laughs) Talking to the potster chode days like that. (laughs) Well, that was so passive aggressive. No, it wasn't. Oh, you know, make me cheese it. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> okay, receiving sorry, them. Okay, sorry, Podster Chode Bays. In the P.O. box. Ever heard of it? You guys sent Cody brand new shoes. <laughs> like he needs them. <laughs> and all I want is cheese it. But you're right. You guys are my Pod Bay Chode fam. You're Pod Chode Bay fans. <laughs> you're co- Okay. I'm trying to be nice. You're Cody's Pod Bay Chode fam, which makes you, a, gives you a special place in my heart, especially because you let me come on this podcast and you listen to me talk and I really appreciate it. So thank you guys for having me. I mean, the, you're the high, most highly requested person. And I appreciate it. Thank you guys for having me. <laughs> Truly. I got really excited when Cody asked me if I wanted to be on today. But, you know, send cheese it's Okay, I'm so, sorry. Not I'm for s- me, for her. I'm sorry I acted that way towards you guys. My Chodster Pod Bays. My bodster chode pays. Chodster, chodster chad pods. <laughs> you guys, I'm sorry I yelled at you. You made me feel really bad. <laughs> I'm going to like, I'm going to be up at night thinking about that. Love you guys. My pod bays. Cody's pod bays. Do you think um, trick or treating in Australia is like the kids <laughs> when they go around to the houses, they give the candy back to the, to the adults? <laughs> Did it work that time? It worked. I'm just, I'm laughing at the idea that you just tried it out again. I'm working on the delivery. Okay. I'm thinking about it. Should we talk about what we got in the P.O. box? Because we, we were going to do yeah. a video and we didn't do a video Let's because we just like, it. she was too anxious for Cheez-Its. And so she. It's honestly true. I was like, I just opened up all the packages. I to open like, them all. I'm trying to set up the camera. I'm like, just wait, Kelsey. And she's tearing through the fucking packages like a dog on Christmas, you know? Yeah, dogs on Christmas. Classic. Tearing through packages. Those dogs. I've never had a dog, so I don't know if that's true. I just kind of like swung for the fences there. There's another. Oh, anything else you want to talk about? (laughs) There's another. Any other problems you have with me? No, that's that's not a problem at all. I just like, I just realized I said another really dad thing. Swing for the fences on that one. Okay. Well. (laughs) Slowly. This is what happens when you almost turn 27. You turn into a dad? turn into a dad. 
you know? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Well, so I she's tearing the through packages. the packages. And I'm trying to set up the camera. I'm like, Kelsey, can you wait five seconds? And she's just tearing through these things, opening shit up, throwing it across the room because it's not cheese. It's like throwing it on the, against the wall. That's saying, not true. Yeah, people are sending me fragile little trinkets. I got a bunch of like little cute little statues and stuff like that. And she's just whipping these things against the wall and they're shattering. And <laughs> and I'm just, I'm freaking out because I'm like, first of all, this is kind of funny. So I should get it on film. Second of all, she's drooling. She's frothing at the mouth, <laughs> trying to get to these cheese its and there aren't any. So she's getting angrier and angrier and it's getting worse and worse. And she's not even opening packages. She's just throwing them off the balcony. And the whole thing was a big mess. So afterwards, when I, when I cleaned everything up and, and actually had time to like I sort through the stuff. tranquilized by that point. Yeah. Um, yeah, she, I'd put her, I'd put her down at that point. <laughs> I had a good, you know, sometimes when she gets like that, I have, I have some trank darts that I use. <laughs> so, and, um, and so by this point, she's kind of on the on the floor. You know, she's out for a couple hours. I knew, I know I've, at that point I have time to like really sort through the stuff that I got. So sorry to all the people that sent me little statues, little glass statues from Russia and all that. I'm sorry. Um, those are those are long gone now. And uh, but to everyone else who sent me stuff, thank you. I appreciate it. We got someone sent me someone sent me a pair of shoes, like a, just a brand new pair of Clarks. Shoes. They're nice. I'm sorry. They're nice. I a little like bit too them. big, but um, thank you for those. Appreciate it. Um, someone sent me a, giant, a pair of XL sweatpants and mm-hmm. said these look like the, they'd fit you, so yeah. fuck off for that. And also thank you. But fuck off. We wear, the, we wear them at the same time. Actually, that's what we should do for the second half of the podcast. Let's do it. Is both wear... No, let's not, actually. Okay. I kind of like this giraffe onesie. Um... We go, what else did we get? We got a box full of British candy. Mm-hmm, that was good. Really good. Arrow. And I didn't even get a bite of that. Arrow is the best. Um, we got underwear for two. Yeah, we actually got underwear that two people can wear. Yeah, which is cool. Um, bunch oh, of, we bunch got of, those on right now. Yep. Um, um, we got a bunch of, bunch of letters, which whatever. Don't read them. Mm-hmm. Um, those go straight into the trash every time. We use them as napkins. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I read them. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Cody reads them too. No, I read them and I actually appreciate them. They're nice. Yeah. <clears throat> um, what else do we get? I want to thank the people for, we should actually like bring it out here and go through it, but I don't really want to. I'm too lazy to go get it. You could get it while I put my money in the meter. Oh, do you have to reload the meter? Mm-hmm. In eight minutes. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Yeah. Maybe we'll take a little break and do that or maybe not. What else did I have to talk about today? Guy weighing the espresso. I still feel really bad about yelling at them for the, the cheese hit. You, I think you're good. I'm like thinking about it. I think you're fine. I'm I think sorry. you apologize. It's all good. Okay. They did, you weren't really that. I was just more giving you shit. Why do you keep looking at my calendar? Uh, it's because it's just on here. Anything interesting? No. Guys, I'm going to Israel in December. Um, so you have any, if you have any recommendations for, um, Tel Aviv, Tel Aviv, how do you say it? Tel Aviv. Tel Aviv. Then let me know. Restaurants maybe. I don't know. Um, I'm excited. Um, okay. So the, so there's this coffee place that we go to by, it used to be my favorite coffee place. And then I realized it's really the most pretentious place. In the I don't world. like it. Why don't you like it? I don't like it because if I'm waking up in the morning trying to get, myself a nice coffee yeah i just want coffee i don't need a fancy drink with a lemon slice in it right i think that makes sense that's like 80 dollars. that's what i'm slowly realizing it coffee doesn't really need to be like that no you just need coffee you just need what it is that's what it is coffee you need it you need it (laughs) oh yeah. You really, you really made your point with that one. <laughs> that's what it is. Circles. It's coffee and you need it. And that's all it is. Sorry. Um, you, Cody has just, oh, let's finish talking about this place first. Which place? The this place. Yeah. Place. No, no. This, I mean, this is Why? what you're saying is, is makes I'm, sense because <clears throat> I agree. It doesn't, coffee doesn't need to be I need gourmet. you to explain the, to them the drink that you think is good that you get from there. Okay. So it's, um. Stay, I'm going to eat a Snickers real quick. 
You know, when you're hungry. What's the Snickers tagline? Hungry? Eat a Snickers. Right. Um, espresso and tonic. That's right. Tonic water. That's sparkling water thrown in with coffee, with espresso. It's not sparkling water. Yeah, it is. It's sparkling water. It has little bubbles in it. Sparkling tonic Yeah, but it's water. like it's got like a whole bunch of other shit in it. Tonic. Water. Do you think tonic and soda water are the same thing? No, they're very similar, though. They're not similar at all. They're both bubbly liquids. <clears throat> they're both what? Bubbly liquids. So all sodas are similar to you? No, they're water. Really? They're water All sodas are similar to you? Why are you being mean? Am I? Yeah, kind I'm of. I'm just trying to create a, some good banter here. You're like yelling at me. No, I'm just trying to banter. Uh. You're not battering. I'm battering. You're not. You're doing me head in. You're not battering. You're just being, you're being not very nice. No. I don't really like how, what you're saying. You think, you think I'm I, I, purposely being mean? I think mm-hmm. you're kind of, I think you're kind of picking on me. No. Well. No. All I'm trying to say is that I, I find tonic water and s- s- sparkling water to be s- similar. Yeah, and I see that. Listen, they're, I think you. Both I think you're both water based. One hundred percent my my type. <laughs> on I don't know you're the losing fuck it. That. <laughs> <laughs> you had it still. I can't. <clears throat> I can do British for three words, and then it I just starts to de- it. deteriorate. Do it. Do you want to be? You want to be Amber from <laughs> Amber? If you're watching this, she's got a great Amber from Love Island <laughs> which impression. No one watches except fucking. Uh, Everyone watches that shit. Not did that. That was in your podcast. Probably yeah. People watch it because I I, I talked so much about it in like the first few. Cody episodes. told me about Love Island before we started dating, and that was like the one thing that we like. The one thing we had in common. <laughs> no, not at all. But like, I was like, oh, let me uh, text Cody. I have to talk to him about Love Island. <laughs> That's our actually foundation for our whole relationship. Is it was Love just Island. always my excuse. You want a healthy relationship? <laughs> build, build, build a, um, a mutual connection. Build a relationship over Love Island. I think that's what we've learned. That was your excuse? Yeah. Like something would happen. And I'd be like, oh, I'm going to text Cody about it. <laughs> Maybe I should just probably text Cody about it. Let me just text him. Cody went away. He went to Chicago before he started dating. And I was on episode four of Love Island. And he was like on episode like 26. And he went to Chicago for like four days. days. <laughs> and he got back. And, and I was, was on like. episode 58. <laughs> no. I was like. The on, series. I was on episode like 23. And it was. And was each like, one is an hour. It's an hour long. <laughs> I, so I like watched, that's really cute, but it's also like you, I didn't you do watched anything Love Island for twenty five hours in three days. That's the only thing you could have done. I had like late nights at work. I just sat there and watched it. I mean, I don't blame you. I do that shit too. We did that with American Vandal. What are you doing? There's just a little fur on it. Thanks for cleaning my mic. Welcome. Um. Yeah. Anyway. Wow. We just got really off track. What were you we even talking, were talking about? about? The tonic drink. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. To- so this, so tonic water, mm-hmm. very, very good. Very, very different from soda water. Very complete. They're basically polar opposites, right? You got tonic water on one side of the spectrum and then you got soda water on the other side. Sparkling water. Very, very different. Both water-based Couldn't be more, couldn't be more different. Every soda sparkling. is water-based. Every soda is. Um, uh, you know what? I'm going to go. Couldn't. <laughs> my meter. Cody needs to take a little break. <laughs> to cool off a little bit. I'll keep. T- I'll continue talking about the to- the coffee. I want to hear about the weighing. <laughs> okay. Do you want to take a break, and we'll come back? No, just keep talking. I'll just go move my. Coffee. No, no, no. Let's take a break. What's up, guys? Sorry about the brief intermission. There, we're back. Kelsey had to feed the meter, and now the meter is um, fully fed. As am I. Um, I've been going in on the Halloween candy over the past couple of days. Um, added a couple lbs. <laughs> probably, but that's okay. You know, it's fine. Planning on hitting the gym again. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna go today. It's yep. the first time I'm going to go to the gym in like three weeks, probably. Is it now? Is it what? It's is good. It? No, it's good. It's good. It's good. Okay. Um, what were we talking about? So espresso and tonic. Yes. So let me explain this. Um, tonic water, right? So you picture that. It's um, very, very different from <laughs> soda water. <laughs> 
Um, um, I'm a big fan of gin and tonics. I like gin and tonics. Mm-hmm. And so espresso and tonic, <clears throat> it's basically the same thing. You just take the, you know, you think about taking minus, minusing the gym, gin, subtracting it, I should say, and then adding espresso. <laughs> yeah. And it's really good. Mm-hmm. It's really good. You would think it's gross. It's really good. And I like the fact that this place does that drink. The problem is it's this place. It's just so, now I don't want to, I don't want to talk too much shit about this place because I feel like they always, they already hate me for some reason. I don't know why the Bristas just never, that's really just the, the kind of, of place that it is. You think so? Yeah. Like the, it's so pretentious. You're not, you don't have, yeah, exactly. This is our main beef with this place is that they weigh their espresso before they put it in the machine. So they like take, you know, from the grinder, they fill up the little espresso thing. What the fuck do you even like the little thing? Like the little shovel. Yeah. The little <laughs> shovel. Yeah. <laughs> They fill it and then they weigh it on a little drug scale mm-hmm. to make sure it's like the perfect amount of espresso. Right. And if it's even like half an ounce over half he an like ounce. He dumps no, that's, it out, but then he dumps too much ounce and he has to go back in and get like a little bit more. But yeah. It's too much. And he, it's, it's too much. So you got to put it back in. And it's like we were just watching this process. And he's like place in, or this. Uh, like he puts it down and like backs away every time. Yeah. It's yeah. a whole fucking thing. Yeah. It's like he's like finessing this thing. And it's like I, we don't care how don't much is in it. I think it really matters. Honestly, I'd prefer more. The thing is, though, I don't think he, this is, I don't think he's doing it because he wants the drink to be perfect. I think he's doing it be, like, cause that's how much we're paying for. Okay. I was thinking of it more like, okay, really? You're not just going to give us a little bit more. You think like we're so? paying $650 for Cody's espresso and tonic. <laughs> He can just, just, just do a scoop of espresso. It doesn't really matter how much it is. That's what I'm it. saying. No, yeah. I think they see it as like an art. I, Maybe it's a little bit of both. Either way, it sucks. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Harsh. God, I know. What is wrong with I'm me? I'm saying I don't want to. I don't want to talk shit too much because I actually sort of still like this place. I know you do like this place. I just think, and I think I'm, I'm oftentimes very, very negative on this podcast, and I feel like people just think I hate everything. I know. I'm sorry that I'm doing this. I really like the drink. It's a good drink, and I, and maybe it maybe it does make a difference. The the fucking half. Uh, what's smaller than an ounce? The half a fucking see. This teaspoon. is why what teaspoon? Yeah, the half half a teaspoon of espresso. Maybe that does make a little bit of a difference. But to me, maybe. it's like I don't. We think, won't notice. But maybe we're being hypocrites here because, like, I'm a. I like like mixology. Like I like when I go to a really nice like cocktail bar. I think it does matter like how much and the proportions and all that shit. And like, if someone's a good mixologist, I think it's a good thing. I don't. You don't think it's a good thing? I don't like anyone who calls. Oh my god, being so negative. <laughs> No, I like it. No, it's actually good. This is like a good cop, bad cop kind of thing. Oh my God, I know. But I'm actually the positive one for once. I want to be the positive one, but. So no, tell me. I don't like anyone. Talk some shit. Talk some shit. Anyone calls themselves a mixologist. Why not? Because you're not one. (laughs) (laughs) What are they? They're (laughs) bartenders. They're just making cool drinks. That's someone else. Jesus. I don't know. Speaking of pretentious, holy fuck. You're a bartender. That's all you are. Bartender. Bartender. Just call me. (laughs) <laughs> you think I'm pretentious? No, no, you're not. This is a little cry. critical. A little bit critical. <laughs> you pick, okay. No, it's funny. I'm just saying that because you. I'm sorry. You're that the mean I'm, one right I'm now. I'm sorry that I I'm pretentious, and I'm sorry that I yelled at you guys for not giving me cheeses. <laughs> oh, you're still hung up on that. Well, that's another thing that I was mean about. They're fine. Listen, guys, you know that I love you. I don't know, do I? Um, and you know, she loves you. I actually Honestly, I do. Know, does she? I do. I, I do. I just, I just, well, my gripe with this place is that like you put the thing down and you back away and then you put it in and the guy like takes a little orange wedge and like, and like fucking garnishes the rim and then sticks it in and the whole hand gesture thing. And it's just a little bit much. It's like, come on. I don't know. You're making a, you're making a coffee drink that has two ingredients in it. Yeah. Yep. It's really not not an art form, I don't think. To them maybe it is. I mean, this is this is I mean, this is coming from someone who thinks that this is an art form. So I guess everyone kind of has their own art form. Right. You know? Mhm. So who are we to say? Who are we? Thank you for your espresso and tonic. Not my kind of drink, but Cody likes it. It's really good. It's really really good. It's just, I don't know, maybe, maybe you're not, maybe you haven't had enough tonic water in your life before because you think it's the same as cold (laughs) soda, which is, it's not, it's just not. So maybe that's what it is. 
So yeah, that's the gripe with that place. And you know what? I'm gonna, I'm still gonna go there, and I'm still gonna pay six hundred. We will be there at some point this this week, I'm sure. No, definitely. Maybe today. Maybe even right after this. I've had enough coffee today. Yeah, me too, and too much sugar too. Yeah. Like I've been saying, I've been going in on this candy. We should get salads for dinner. No, well, should we? No. Let's go to Chili's. <laughs> Do you want to? No. Oh, come on. Let's go to B Dub Dubs. Okay. Yeah. Super down. Good. Sold. They have salads. Huh. B-Dub Dubs salary. is um, Buffalo Wild Wings, if anyone's wondering. I don't wondering. actually want to go. It's so good, though. I know it is. I love it there. But Me there's going to be like a Dodger game on tonight. It's going to be so packed. Oh, is there a Dodger game tonight? Yeah. Is it every night? I don't know. No, when they fly back to LA, isn't there like a, like a one-night break in between well, the games? we watched the game on Sunday night. Oh, we did. Yeah. We did. So there's been there one day between, one between there. Sorry, I was just yesterday kind of flew by because I was just in the studio cooking up another another dinger. Right. So time flies and you're dinging away. <laughs> what? When we're dinging? Mm-hmm. That's what it's called when we're in the studio. We're dinging. <laughs> I have a I have a ding sesh. What do you think of the new song? I love it. Okay. Absolutely okay. Wait, wait. Don't 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 spoil anything. I just was gonna say that I loved it. <laughs> I wasn't gonna spoil anything. Thank you for the... I thought you were going to be like, I love that the fact that it's about... Uh, and then just... I wouldn't have done that. Okay, well, I don't know. I just got a little bit nervous. I can see that. How Guys, but another dinger on the way. So it's keep really your good. eyes peeled. We're working hard on this shit. Um, and uh, let's... So, yeah, I'm going to go back to the gym. I'm going to do that. I'm going to get back in the gym. And I'm going to commit to it again. It's been a long... It's just been a... You know, when you fall off the fitness train, it's like you really fall off. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Or no? Yeah, no, I definitely. We haven't really talked about this. I definitely know what you mean. I don't know. I don't know if you know what I mean. I, I just, do. Okay. I fell off a while ago. Still uh, getting back on my, my feet. This is, a, this is the, this is the, this is one of the issues with being in a relationship is that, um, you know, you just go to Buffalo Wild Wings all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but see, I don't find that to be true. Go like, on. <laughs> like with... <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> see sometimes sometimes it's like what i mean is that is that sometimes i'm like maybe we should eat some salads tonight and and kelsey's frothing at the mouth <laughs> she's so pissed that she didn't get any cheese it's i just said she's maybe like, let's eat let's some go salads to buffalo wild wings and, and i said that tonight i said maybe let's eat some salads tonight i literally said that sentence yeah but that was just for the cast <laughs> I know you don't want to actually eat salad. I truly want no, I know. salad. I, actually, I kind of do too, actually. Okay. No, you're the one that eats, eats healthy between us. That's not true. Well, no, I'm you do the thing where it's like you we go to a place and she orders the same shit and eats two bites of it and then I <laughs> end up eating two meals. <laughs> Just relationship things, right, guys? What I was trying to say was that I, yeah, we go to Buffalo Wild Wings and we like eat candy a lot mm-hmm. and stuff, but like I want to go to the gym more. Be- than me. Like beca- <laughs> also, now it's a competition. <laughs> the fuck was that? Oh, guys, she's getting in the. <laughs> no, Gotta just- find those trank darts. <laughs> oh, jeez. Just things. let me finish my sentence. I want to go to the gym more now because I like want to. I'm like, look good for you. Oh my God. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I mean, you do you do look. This is getting real mushy. <laughs> I'm just okay. I'm, well, I'm just I'm, I'm just trying to finish my uh, sentence. Someone's got to finish their sentences around here. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Jesus, I was the one being mean before, and now I feel like I have to defend myself. Honestly, what else I've written in my in my notes? Oh <laughs> oh, Nintendo Switch. You guys, I um. We, I bought one and it's amazing. It's really, truly changed my life. <laughs> it has. I know. I'm back on the video game grind. <laughs> <laughs> you ever play video games growing up? Yes. What'd you play? Super Smash Bros. Mario Party. Um, Madden. You played Madden? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Like on what? Xbox? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. Are you good? I love it. Really? Uh-huh. I wouldn't. You play like in college or what? No. Okay. Like when like, my brother, okay. when my brother played. Gotcha. I would like just sit there 
and like watch. And then like occasionally he'd be like, can you, can you jump on? And I'd be like, oh, fuck yeah. And you were just like a savant. It was really good. Because you had studied it so much. Mm -hmm. Were you really good? I think I'm good. I think I'm really good. But I'm truly, I just, I just push buttons. We should start a, we should, I mean, that's what everyone does with Super Smash Bros. I know, but I'm talking about that's with Madden. My, Madden, I know. But this is, I well, no, Madden, really, I think people. I want to play Madden. I bet you're actually good at Madden. We should play it. But we should, well, I hate sports games. It's not my, not my shit. Never been my shit. Okay. People, people um, growing up always played NHL on. Really? Yeah. It's a, such a, how Canadian is that shit? It is. Like I moved to the States and it was like, everyone was so fucking into FIFA and oh, everyone in the FIFA. entire world is yeah. just so all about FIFA and Madden too. Mm-hmm. In Canada, it's all NHL. We'd play. That's funny. Yeah. Um, well, I never really been in a sports game it, though. I've always though? been, we can, yeah, we can try and play it. I want to get, oh, we should get a uh, Mario party for the switch when it comes out. Yeah. hundred percent. The game that changed my life though is Mario Kart. It changed your life. It it is. It's. I'm fully. I'm just. I remember now why video games were so important in my life because I love it. Yeah. When I first picked it up, we bought the Switch. I bought it because I was drunk and mm-hmm. just bought it on Amazon because one of my friends was talking about it. And I was like, I want one, so I bought it. Yeah. And um, it arrived a couple of days later. Mm-hmm. Um, much to my surprise. <laughs> Didn't remember ordering it. No, I'm kidding. I did. Um, wasn't that. Wasn't that drunk. And it came, and so we were like, what's a social game we can get um, so we can play with the friends over the weekend? And so we just bought Mario Kart because, you know, it's a classic. I picked you know? it up. You picked it up. She got it. And and we started playing it, and I was like, oh, it's just like a normal Mario Kart game. But then you learn how to drift, and then you learn the maps, and then you start learning the items, and it's like, holy fuck. This is, I'm fully in it. I'm in it now. And now I'm fully addicted to Kart. Um, and... Um, planning on checking into passages <laughs> relatively soon for nintendo you, you take down the number yesterday yeah. when we drove by the passages billboard 919 that's that's my number <laughs> <laughs> that's the durham area code no. i seriously doubt passages has a durham uh, area code i didn't mean that that was the area code what did you mean those are the first three numbers of the number of the number yeah really uh, it, it was either 319 919 oh. 913 something around there okay I'm not stupid. I know you're not stupid. A little bit. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I know. You're good at Madden. <laughs> so uh, what was I even saying? Mario Kart. It's amazing. And if you haven't, do you like it? Yeah. I think it's amazing. If you play it, big shout out to you. It's I want to play fun. online with some people. I feel like I'm kind of good. You are good. I feel like I'm good at it. You are good at it. And now I'm just, it's just. It's taken over my life. I'm watching videos on YouTube about how to, like how the pros drive certain tracks. I'm learning all the shortcuts and stuff like that. And we're going to like make jerseys. We're starting like a league. <laughs> I tell you, he in three days, this has work. changed my like life. Him and his friends. You wonder, no, yo, you're one of my friends. I know you're one of my friends. You're my best friend. Okay. Um, so I can did get a ever, jersey. Did you ever see that vine I did? Um, uh, yes. Did you? Yeah. She's, she's not, not just my girlfriend. She's my mm. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you did, right? In it? Did I? I think so. I don't think you just did that. I think you like pretended to like throw up or something. Oh, maybe. But it, I mean that now I, I, did, I did that vine. Yeah. As like a, you know, very sarcastic. Right. No, totally. But now it's like, a, you know, I get it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Sorry to everyone who's gagging out there. We're, we're trying to keep, we're, We'll try to keep the mushiness out of we um out yeah of these we are we are because I know it bothers some of you you get very offended I get offended no not you oh, okay some of the some of the pod bays I'll get I'll be I'll be mushy about Mario Kart all day though all day <laughs> God I love Mario Kart Mario Kart loves you too <laughs> babe I love Mario Kart. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I want to play like online with you guys, with the podsters, with the chodes. I like the pod chodes. If you, if you play, let me know what configuration you use. Let me know what cart you like to use, what wheels you use. Any tips. Any, any tips, tips. Any tips. We'll love some cart tips. Cheat codes. Mm-hmm. If you're, yeah, if you're a human game shark out there, let me know. Did you ever play Sims? Yes. <laughs> I had 100%. Che- did you have the cheat code for the money? 
I don't know. What was that? I had like a cheat code and you could just put in how much money you wanted okay. and you would get it in your bank. So like I never really played. I just <laughs> like was always very rich and like got everything I needed and like never really had a care in the world. And I would just add like a million dollars in every day. That explains the pretentiousness. Yes. That's for it. <laughs> I, I don't remember like what could you buy with the money? I don't really remember Sims. I'm um, just like how like food, house, clothes, the newest products. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know either. <laughs> I don't remember. You're just I, saying things you can buy in real life yeah, with money. I, I don't remember. I just remember like <laughs> investments, mortgages, 401 k. <laughs> um, I just like would build like I had like a. Like a, that's my favorite candy, by mm. the way. Did you know that? God damn, Brisa? Mm-hmm. <laughs> we were talk- Sorry, to interrupt. We were talking yesterday about people that say Reese's Pieces. <laughs> and how fucking stupid that is. Like who? You and the the dingers? Mm-hmm. The dinger bros? Yeah. We need the ding bur- the ding guys. <laughs> Dingos actually Dingos, is what we call it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dingies. <laughs> Ding dongs. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, so me and the ding dongs yesterday were talking. <laughs> it was a gunshot. I think it is. It was a gunshot. Someone really doesn't like this podcast. <laughs> it's Colby. <laughs> it's, it's pretty close. Hey, bud. We were talking about how stupid, because like in college, I had a couple friends who would say Reese's Pieces. And so they would say it so much, I, I would kind of thought like, eventually I was like, oh, maybe it's a Canadian thing that I'm pronouncing it Reese's Pieces. Maybe it's like a kind of like a traditional Southern thing to pronounce it Reese's Pieces. And in my mind, I was like, maybe that's, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's how it's, and so we were talking about it yesterday and we're like, how, how dumb is that? It's a guy named Reese and it's his pieces. It's Reese's pieces. Mm -hmm. There's absolutely no way in hell it's pronounced Reese's pieces. Absolutely no way in hell. Who the fuck thinks it's called Reese's pieces? (laughs) Who calls things pieces? (laughs) What? (laughs) What? They're like little bits of chocolate. They're I, pieces of chocolate. You, you are you are telling me this like I say Reese's Pieces. No, I'm not. I'm just like, you're more of like a rubber duck right now. I'm just um, like trying to. I agree. It's absurd. Pieces? Pieces. Like, hey, uh, you want a couple, you want a couple uh, pieces of pineapple here? <laughs> like that never works for anything Pe- else. Wh- what? <laughs> what were you going to say? What's weird is that like piece. Yeah. Pieces. <laughs> pieces. Pieces, yeah. I've said it so much now, it doesn't mean anything no, to me anymore. Pieces, just noises. pieces, pieces, pieces. 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 Ooh, that's a weird one. What are you, a Pisces? No. I'm a Sagittarius. You don't know. What I, I don't mean. know your birthday, so. Yeah, so how could you know what sign I am? <laughs> I'm a Libra for all you, all you horoscopes. Libra season, baby. Woo. Libra season's long gone. Oh. Actually, I don't. I don't know. Reese's pieces. <laughs> yeah, fuck some Reese's Pieces. See some Reese's Pieces. It's so it's, stupid. It is stupid. It's the stupidest thing in the entire world. If you pronounce it like that, what are you doing? If you pronounce it like that, just maybe take a step back and think about the fact that that's not how you pronounce it. <laughs> that you're wrong and that you suck. And also that I hate you. Think about that. Now I'm the negative one. Now we're just switching off. Good cop, bad cop. Bump mics. Quick mic bump. Um, we watched a movie last night. It was called, um, it was called Shot Caller. Shot Caller. Um, so big shout out to anyone who's watched that movie. A little mic bump there. <laughs> <laughs> Good movie. Good movie. It's about this guy who um, basically uh, go, uh, has to go to jail because he killed someone because he was 0. .02 over the limit while he was driving. Point one. <laughs> point one. No, it's a point zero eight, right? And you said it was point one. So yeah. point zero two over the. Oh, limit. I get what you're saying. So sorry. No worries. Simple math. Simple math. Yeah. Not your strength. Um, but I'm ca- just kidding. Um, so yeah, basically tonic water and soda water, very very different. <laughs> oh my <things>. god! <laughs> Keep talking about shock collar. 
So he goes to jail. He's he like a family a man. He's yeah. like an investor guy. He gets a DUI. He goes to jail. Wealthy, clean cut. Clean cut. Very nice house. He says one things, kid. He likes to say things like rub shoulders with movers and shakers and right. stuff like that. Right, right, right. Swinging for the fences. Just he likes to say things like that. Guy. Guy. Classic white dad. Classic suburban white dad. dad. Goes to jail and basically becomes like the leader of this gang in jail because it's the only way he's not going to get like raped in jail. Right. Um, and so basically gets out of jail and then I don't want to ruin the movie, but he uh, just, you know, kind of ch- kind of a changed guy in jail. It's a whole bunch of he racist tattoos. He literally just turns and, into just a completely different person. Yep. And um, he just kills people in jail. Well, I said I didn't want to ruin the movie. He may or may not have killed someone in jail. We're not going to leave that up to you guys. You want, you right. want to watch the movie yourself. I'm so sorry. Um, this whole podcast is just me apologizing. <laughs> Getting mad at the Chodesters and then ruining things for the Chodesters and then apologizing. Chodesters are never going to want me back. Sorry, Chodes. Let us know in the comments if you want Kelsey to be back on the Please say yes. On the pod. Um, so, yeah, pretty dark movie. I don't but even it was know. Really, I liked it. I liked it, too. It's a good movie. At first I was like, what is going on here? It was like told in a way where like it's present day, but then all of a sudden it's past, but then it's like kind of both. Yeah. It was strange, but it was good. It's one of those movies where like the acting is really bad, mm-hmm. but it doesn't matter. Right. Totally. You know? mm-hmm. Cause the, cause the writing is still relatively good and like the shots were cool and it yeah. was a good story. And like, I, I, yeah, I find like that, that life. Yeah. Like jail life yeah. to be very interesting. Mm-hmm. I always have. What do you mean? Like I, I, I just like watching like shows, like those like prison shows, yeah. like reality mm-hmm. shows. I liked that movie. I liked all the scenes when he was in jail. Okay. Yeah, it's intriguing. It is. It is because it's like a place that it's hopefully terrifying. Yeah. It's it was it was a weird movie because like he, Cody is like just a normal guy right now. And all all he needed all he needs to do is get a DUI and end up in jail, and he can just all of a sudden be like a. Both of us. No, I know. I'm just I'm just using you as an example. You could be a gang leader too. I could. She's got the, you got the grit necessary to be a gang leader. I mean, look at how much you blew up about the coffee spot. True. You were mean. I wasn't mean. Well, you I I saw a little bit of gang leader in you. Thank you, warrior. You mean. Warrior, yeah, that's, I guess that's, that's the term that they the, use in the movie. Yeah, in the movie. It's um, weird seeing the guy. Did you ever watch Game of Thrones? That was him. I know. It's weird seeing, I feel like he's like very, very good at playing like Regal. Mm-hmm. But a little bit, I couldn't really see him like outside that. I kept like thinking of him as oh. like a king. What's his name in the show? Or not king, but I forget. In Game of Thrones? I don't know. He's the dude with one arm. Mm-hmm. Um, the guy that's banging his sister. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Nothing like a little incest. Um, so watch a movie, I guess, if you, um, if if you're you, I really didn't have anything to else to say about that movie besides the fact that it's, it's pretty good. What do you want to watch? The Ring. No way. What? That movie scared the shit out of I me. I never saw it. I was always too scared to watch it. I really would just love it. You never saw The Ring? mm Seriously? Seriously, I was always too scared. Did you ever see the trailer? Yes, that's why I was scared. Did you see the part where the horse, like, runs off the ferry? No, you're a liar. No, 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 no. I'm serious. This is like this is the scene. this is the weirdest thing because I'm pretty sure it was in the ring. Yeah, it's the scariest scene in the movie to me. I don't know why, but that scared the shit out of me. Not the shit where the creepy chick comes out of the TV, all what that happened? stuff. This horse on a ferry just like all of a sudden goes crazy and like runs off the ferry, and it. I don't know why it was like scarring to me that scene I from the ring. I want to watch it. Maybe we'll watch it actually, and then we can talk about it. We can talk about it next time you're on the pod. In two months. <laughs> I'm being banned for two months. <laughs> no, you're not. It's not a banning. No, this is like a more of like a, like you're like a regular co-host. Every now and then. Every occasionally. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Next yeah, time. Yeah, it's not regular. An occasional regular co-host. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm honored, honestly. I think I'm going to start my own. Podcast? A mm-hmm. competing one? <laughs> what I'm going to record it from the other side of the <laughs> At the same time, <laughs> dueling podcasts. What would you talk about? Um, you could do it, probably. You guys, I bet you, you could sit. Alone, I would just sit and like me and do talk, forty-five 100%. minutes. One hundred percent. Could you? Absolutely. Take it away. Well, I can't do it while you watch me like that. Take it away. Take it away. Let's see if you could do it. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. 
Um, hey guys, so this week interesting things happened. It's two it's Tuesday right now. Yesterday was Monday. Um I already already <clears throat> I feel like we've and talked burn. about everything. It's rashing Halloween. and burning already. Let, you wanna guess Yeah, let me give you a topic. Okay. Bocce ball. Bocce ball. Thank you for asking. Um it's not common here. I grew up in a place where not a lot of people play bocce ball, mm-hmm. but I will say that um, I have played it. Next. <laughs> Next. Oh, my bad. Sorry. Dozed off there. Jesus. <laughs> Give me a topic. Okay. Um, blue hats. Blue hats. <laughs> easy. Easy, easy. Um, isn't it funny? Do you think in Australia, trick or treating? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh boy. Blue hats. Blue hats. Blue hats. That's easy. Okay. Um, me, myself, I, uh, you know, people, there's, there's, uh, you know, there's red or there's black hat hackers. I think it's black hat, okay. right? They're the ones that are, do malicious hacking. And then there's the white hat hackers, which they do good hacking. Mm-hmm. Me, I'm a blue hat hacker. Um, because okay, I like okay, to, okay, I get it better at this than me. <laughs> I'm he's, not, I'm not, that was garbage. It. That was no, completely that was garbage. Good. I was like, oh, he's digging. I just said, uh, bocce ball. I played it. Okay. Here, I'll give you another one. Um, let's no, see I'm here. Pressure now. No, these are like improv exercises. Okay. Well, I'm not an improver. You could be good. You're good at it. You're good at it. You're on the podcast. I like being on the podcast. Good. I like you on the podcast. Okay. Okay. Getting mushy. Yeah, sorry. Um, what else have we got in the notes here? I don't think I wrote a lot read down. Read. Oh, okay. Here, this is what we want to do. Um, we want to start. We want to. Th- we were thinking like you know, it kind of doesn't make sense now after talking about all like the salads and all the gym time that we're planning on logging in the next little while. But we we want to start doing mukbangs on YouTube. Should we do like health food ones? <laughs> Like just like every smoothie that every health smoothie that fucking creation, creation mates yeah. mates. I just said mates a little forty and slip there. We can mate on our mukbang channel <laughs> as we eat health food. So that's, that's what we're that's the genre worse. of video that we're gonna start doing. <laughs> we're just gonna eat. If you guys haven't seen these, it's like Trisha Paytas does this a lot on YouTube. Um, who I don't really know who she is, but she eat, likes to eat, mm-hmm. and uh, so she'll just eat all? huge quantities of food on YouTube and film videos of her doing that. And so we watched we watched a couple snippets from some. She had actually one from Chili's. Yeah, she did. And so we're gonna do that, but with health food, we're gonna just order every single type of salad mm-hmm. Green Leaf has to offer and go in on it. Mm. Yummy. You pumped? Pumped. Are you pumped? Pumped. All right, guys, that's probably enough for today. I think we discussed, what did we, we did it. We discussed Halloween. We had a good Halloween. This is the first year I had a good New Year's and a good Halloween in the same year. You had a good New Year's? For the first time ever. What'd you do? We went to this party at the W in, in uh, Westwood. It was a lot of fun. What did you do? Oh, I didn't do anything. <laughs> I actually wore that onesie. <laughs> <laughs> My friend, my one of my best friends got married um, in last January. So her bachelorette party was like the last days of December. Mm -hmm. And we so we had like a bachelorette party in Santa Barbara. Mm -hmm. So like by the time we drove back from Santa Barbara on New Year's Eve and we were all like very, very dead. So me and Isabel and Jen just. Just that. put on the onesies and just put watch the, the ball drop. Literally, yeah. That's exactly what we did. I have a projector and we watched it on there. And doesn't Cyan, Cyan Recrest? Ryan Seacrest, yeah. doesn't he do the ball drop thing? So you must have been just I happy as a peach. On cloud nine. She loves Ryan Seacrest. I really love Ryan Seacrest. I was thinking about it this morning, actually. I think he's my favorite celebrity. That's why she likes doing this the podcast, because yeah. she thinks she but feels she like, like Ryan I'm on Seacrest. the radio. <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> you kind of are. I love it. This is my dream job right here. Is it? Yeah, especially today because we're in we're in onesies. Well, it's an honor to help you live out your dream. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I think I'm going to wrap it up. It's been fun. Hope you had a great Halloween. I hope that you go out and 
be trick safe. or treat. And I hope that well, like, honestly, if you're in Australia, maybe you give the candy back to the adults. <clears throat> So go out there, find the houses with the full bags of meth and, um, and have a good one. <laughs> or I hope you had a good one since you're not going to see this until Yeah, I hope you time. had a good one. Happy hope November. Happy, happy my, November. Happy my birth month. Let me know happy. what you're going to get me for your, my birthday. Um, I'm me. talking to you guys, not Kelsey. But I mean, like you should. Yeah, I'll let, I'll let the pod bays know. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. You want to follow the Twitter. It's at insanely underscore chill. Um, uh, episode three of the TMG podcast comes out on Friday. That's patreon.com slash tiny meat gang. Now we're over $7,000 a month and over 1100 patrons, which is insane. Where did now I was looking at like the stats for Patreon We're the three, like around the 300th biggest Patreon in two weeks, which is fucking insane. So I appreciate all of you guys. Um, if you want to watch that, then contribute. Um, it's on iTunes now, actually there was an issue with it, but it's up now. So if you want to listen to the first episode for free, you can do that now. Um, follow Kelsey on Instagram if you want. And uh, yeah. it's at Kelsey Kreppel. Kelsey underscore Kreppel. Yeah. You can follow me on Twitter. Yeah, or Twitter. Because she's got really funny tweets, actually. Funnier than mine. Sometimes. Funnier than the dick hole tweet. Funnier I than Cody's dick tweets. Just regret it. Regret tweeting that. No, you don't. And we'll see you guys next time. Thank All you right? for having me Thank again. Thank you so much. Soda water is very different from club I soda. love you guys. I mean, tonic water. Fuck, I fucked it up. Yeah, well, that's what you get. Damn it. Bye. Bye.